Close to 400,000 Saturn ions on the roads right now. We found a handful of those vehicles have a power steering problem that can create a serious safety concern. And tonight we're taking action with important information to help you know how to keep your family safe. Kayla Bradick was driving home from her grandmother's house to put three-year-old Noah down for a nap. My son was actually sitting like right directly behind me. As she went to pass another car, her Saturn Ion steering, she says, stopped working. I tried the hardest I could to turn out of the way and it just, it hit anyways. Our reporting partners at News Channel 5 in Cleveland found more than 4,000 similar complaints have been filed with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration about Saturn Ions since 2004. Like Kayla, drivers said they experienced a complete loss of power steering. That made the wheel difficult to turn. And it often happened without warning. The problems with the car's electric power steering motor is blamed for 16 crashes and two injuries. What seems to be happening on certain ions is the fact that the motor brushes are getting debris in them. Bob Urovac trains mechanics at Polaris Career Center and says the brushes are metal parts that transfer electricity to the motor. When it gets the debris in it, the motor stops for a moment and then can restart. So that's causing failure and a loss of power assist. The same steering system was put in the Pontiac G5 and the Chevrolet Cobalt. Drivers complained about the same sudden loss of power steering. In 2010, General Motors recalled both vehicles but did not recall the ION. Instead, General Motors sent owners this letter offering to fix the defect free. <laughs> But in bold, it tells owners, do not take your vehicle to your GM dealer unless you believe that your vehicle has that condition. This is a dangerous problem. Any steering defect per se is a dangerous defect. Clarence Ditlow is the director of the Center for Auto Safety and Auto Industry Watchdog Group. GM uh, should recall this uh, vehicle and replace the electric power steering motor. They did it with the Cobalt. They did it with the G5. They ought to do it with the Ion. We reached out to General Motors, a spokesperson sent us a statement that says the rates of incidents in the ion population much lower than in the Cobalt and Pontiac G5. The loss of power steering condition is infrequent and is accompanied by a chime and a warning on the driver information center. And customers can have the power steering motor in their vehicle replaced free of charge. GM also investigated Kayla's crash and doesn't believe the electric power steering is to blame. NHTSA opened an investigation into the Saturn Ion's power steering problems back in 2010. Its records show the defect could result in some loss of control and a crash. But NHTSA has not ordered a recall. We requested an interview with NHTSA and we're told that it does not comment on open investigations. Uh, you have an additional factor here. This is an orphan vehicle. General Motors no longer makes it. They're, they're, they don't need the goodwill of a customer for a car that they're no longer selling. So they're much more likely to stonewall a recall. The first thing I did was turn around and check on him. Noah was fine after their crash, so was Kayla. But she says their safety should never have been put at risk. Certainly so, and if you do have a 2004 to 2007 Saturn Ion, well, take it to your GM dealer and ask them to check out your steering motor. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Jeff. All right, Dave.